Hello, how you doing? It's Phil Thatch, and I had the crazy idea to occasionally, while I'm at work, capture bugs and put them into this pill bottle and bring them home and macro photograph them and then release them. And uh, today I captured a ladybug. So I'm going to start this video, and this video will probably take place over several days because one ladybug is not enough to do a whole video, but I'm just gonna make a couple of pictures of the ladybug and let me show you what I'm using. So my plan is just to put the ladybug on this copy paper here and use the Canon RF 100 millimeter macro lens with 31 millimeters of extension tubes and the Mikey MK320 flash and this diffuser on the end of the lens and just make the shot right here. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, I have the ladybug on the piece of paper and I've dialed in my settings. I'm at 1 200th F11 ISO 200 full power on the flash and I'm going to get as close as I can here and focus just by moving closer until the, oh this is cute. I like the paper idea. I can move the paper around to keep the bug facing me. Let me get a little lower angle. I'm gonna try to get a little lower angle. Maybe if I... Okay, I'm gonna take a look at some of those. She appears to be covered with something. I don't know what it is. I guess it's a she, might be a he. Okay, here is the ladybug that you saw me photograph. Some people call these lady birds. I think that's different parts of the world. Over here in America, we call them ladybugs. And I still don't know what that is all over her or it, but uh, there was nothing in my container, so I don't know where it came from, but I'm really happy with the photograph. Well, hello, I have managed to find another bug at work and I'm pretty sure this one is a jumping spider so I'm very excited and I feel like the chances of me successfully photographing then or photographing this little guy is like one in five but I'm going to give it a shot I have uh, my Mikey uh, MK320 flash I've got the modeling flash on so I can see I'm putting I'm going to put the spider inside my uh, product photography studio that I made and uh, it's tiny so I've got my uh, extension tubes on, so we'll see how this works. Oh. Okay, if you'll just sit right there, just chill. Is he, tell me if he moves. He's moving toward you. He's moving toward you. He's moving toward you. Well, that was really, really hard. I'm, I was kind of trying to keep the spider. I really don't know what I'm doing. I was trying to keep the spider in check in the product studio and, and shoot. Uh, and focus one-handed and you know this camera's kind of heavy flash on top of it anyway worked on it for a while uh, I think I might have at least one and maybe two or three photos and uh, now the cute little spider which I have named Philadelphia I'm going to release it outside and he seems none the worse for wear although I'm sure he's probably sick of me chasing him around with this camera so Thanks for your help, Philadelphia. Well, that came out better than I thought it was going to. Look, it's a jumping spider, and there's probably hundreds of thousands of varieties of jumping spider, and I don't know which variety this one is, but this is only the second jumping spider I've ever photographed, and I'm really happy to have been able to capture it, bring it home, photograph it, and release it unharmed. Well, I got another bug from work, and this time it's a really difficult to manage beetle. Uh, take a look inside the box, Heather. Um, so 
So there he is in the product photography studio. He is probably 15 times as big as the spider that I photographed last. I'm gonna try to get his picture and then release him into the backyard. That's good, sort of. If you could stand still, face me in the middle of the box, let me get a decent shot, then I release you. I've got the flash at full power. I'm shooting F16 and 1 200th ISO 100. And I'm actually, instead of, because he's so big, I'm actually using autofocus. And no extension tubes. I detect is putting a focus point on his head. Well, it was when he was faced kind of a three quarter sort of a way. So this is a ground beetle of some sort. I don't know exactly what kind. There's probably thousands and thousands of varieties of ground beetle, but I was really happy to photograph it and it turned out pretty nice on this animal and the next one i did not use the extension tubes just the rf 100 by itself okay well i think i got a photograph of this beetle uh, i haven't identified it yet maybe in the video i already have so uh time to let him go see you later you are free to go thanks for the photo shoot well the same day as the big beetle that you just saw i also captured a spider and uh i heather says she doesn't think it's a jumping spider i can't see good enough to tell but it's it's a little bit bigger than philadelphia the second bug in this video uh, which i gave a name for some strange reason and i'm going to try to uh, get a shot of it it should be uh, a good bit harder than that big bug although the big bug ran around a lot but this is much much smaller but not as small as philadelphia We did determine that this is some form of jumping spider, and just like Philadelphia, the previous jumping spider, we don't know exactly what species of jumping spider. Look at this. I love this little threat display that this jumping spider was giving me with putting its front arms up in the air. And I think one thing that is common to all jumping spiders is the two large eyes in the center of the front of its head with smaller eyes flanking it and smaller eyes about halfway back on the head. So as you could see when I was making these photographs, this was the calmest of all the bugs I worked on except maybe the ladybird. And I was able to get more than one shot of this one. Four, in fact. Two bugs for the video in one night. Brought them home both in the same container. And uh, this was, I'm almost sure, a jumping spider. And I'm sure I've already told you what the species is if we have been able to figure it out. Actually, I don't think we figured out what the species was on the last one. So, but I'm sure it's a jumping spider. So we're gonna let it go in Heather's petunias, which is where we let the last one go. Go on. Hello. Yep, okay. So that is four bugs so far, caught at work, brought home, photographed, and released alive.